What's up everybody? I'm coming to you today with a thrift haul. I went thrifting on Friday and I got a ton of stuff. So I just wanted to show them off and kind of show you guys what's going to be on my Depop soon. Okay, so first we're going to start off with the belts. Um, I got this super cute pink, like, little grommet belt. It's got, like, these little star studs on it. Wow, this lighting is trash. I've got these little cool, like, star studs on it. So, yeah, I got this one for $2. And then I got this, this basic white little grommet belt. And... I think it's yeah it's leather so that's always a plus leather is bueno <laughs> so yeah um got this one you know what I'm gonna go off with this one because this one this one's crazy and y'all are gonna think grace why the crap did you get this and you know what because who doesn't love Betty Boop like w would y'all look at this purse this is insane like it's this cute little corset style like purse and it's just like gorgeous like I'm like dying over here with this purse yeah so it's just like this little corset purse and it's actually got a lot more room than I thought it would like if you open it up it's like it's got a pretty good amount of space in there to hold all your goods and so yeah I got this little thing and it had like this terrible smoke smell like right when I got it so I just like tossed that thing in the washer and we put some little those beads that have all the yummy scents in there and so it doesn't smell terrible anymore it still has like a little bit of like a smoky smell but nothing like it was before and by the way I don't know like if y'all know this but if you ever buy anything from me, like, it's going to be washed before you get it. Because I'm not going to give you something from a thrift store that's got, like, stinky smells that your grandma was wearing 50 years ago. Because that's just kind of gross. But, um, yeah, so everything's washed. And I wear a lot of things that I buy. I'll wear it to school for a while or I'll just wear it around until I sell it. So I always wash everything before. Just so you don't know. Because... I'm not a nasty gal over here <laughs> but anyways so um next I'm gonna go with this little tee it's a little life is good t-shirt that I cropped I, I like to crop a lot of t-shirts because I just feel like I feel like if you buy a t-shirt and it's just like got a cute little design on it you can sell it for so much more and it'll sell so much quicker literally just by cutting it. So there's that one. And then we're going to go with this little t-shirt I got. It's a polo jeans company t-shirt. And it's just like a simple little t-shirt that I got. And it's got like this cute like lettuce trim edging which is really in right now all the lettuce trim. But it's pretty basic and it's just cute to wear around. Maybe like a little late 90s, early Y2K look. So yeah, I got that. And then, ooh. Okay, so I've like never owned a bucket hat before. Like I always thought like bucket hats are like for dads. Like that's such a dad thing to wear. So I was like just going through a bin at the thrift store and I came up across this little bucket hat which is like I thought it was like really cute like <laughs> I thought it was really cute because it's just like it's very simple it's camo and it's got like the USA it's kind of got like a sporty vibe to it and honestly like I've been buying like so much sporty stuff lately just because like so I've been watching this TV show it's called Slobby's World and it's on Netflix and it's about this guy from like Arizona or something and he basically he's like got a huge shop it's called Generation Cool and he sells like vintage things from like the 80s and 90s but they're all like sportswear stuff but he sells like the high end like really expensive only came out with a couple of them type of thing like he spell he sells Gucci and the Polo Ralph Laurens and like Nikes and Air Jordans but like everything 
old. So he makes a lot of money off of that. So I just kind of jumped on that. With my shop, I feel like I need to have like a specific like genre that I work with in my clothes because I feel like all my clothes are just like all over the place and my, my store needs to have like a set thing. Like I'm the store where you get sporty things. I'm the store where you get grungy things. Like, you know, that kind of stuff. And I'm just so all over the place because that's how my style is. My style is so all over the place. Like, one day you see me in all black. I'm looking like some goth girl. And then the next day I'm like a little Y2K princess. And I don't even know who the crap I am. But you know what? I'm okay with that. But I'm just trying to get, stick my store to like something like set. So, we're going to see how that goes. And if I can find enough stuff, maybe it won't happen. Maybe it will. But we'll just see. <laughs> I'll go with something green. So, this jacket. I was so like borderline like not gonna get this and I decided to just like get it last minute because I don't know I'm just like I was really digging the colorway on this jacket like it's but it's huge like it's like a XL and it's a men's so maybe like a guy will be interested in it I mean it would look great on a girl too but this is like a guy's type of jacket and I don't even know what brand it is it's Ash Creek Okay, I've heard of that before. So that's like a more vintage brand. Um, I think it's around like the late 80s, early 90s stuff. So yeah, that fits this jacket perfectly. So next, I'll go with this. This is just like a basic little um, striped t-shirt. It's cropped. And I think it's from, I think it's from Forever 21. Yeah, it is. Um, it's got like this mock little neck, little turtleneck thingy. Um, so yeah, that's from Forever 21. And then, okay, I'm going to show you all these shoes because these shoes, they stole my heart. And what's so crazy is these things were like, like brown, like dirt, like red Georgia clay dirt all over them. And look at them now. I mean, they're not perfect, they're totally not perfectly white, but they look a hell of a lot better than when I first got them. And so basically, I like, I um, can you believe I almost didn't get these? I almost was like, mm, that's like so messed up, that's so dirty, I don't even know if I want to try it. But then I was like, you know what, when do you come across like this Fila tennis shoe with like this huge chunky heel, which is so in right now, and I was like, you know what, I'm just going to go for it. So I went home, I got my little white Lysol wipe, and I just like went to town on this thing. And then we threw the laces in the wash, and they're basically brand new. So yeah, it was totally worth it. But yeah, so those are super cool. I was really excited about those. Um, okay, so we're going to get into a lot of the green stuff. I'll start with this first. Um, this is just like... I don't even know what this is honestly it's just like a pair of jeans and it's like a forest green color and I honestly I just went with it because it has this like really cool pinstripe down the side and it's got like these like grooves in the thing I don't even know what that's called I know it has a name for it but I can't think of it right now but it's it's South Pole which is it's older but I'm not I don't think these jeans are older but um they're pretty cute I mean We'll just see how they go. I'm here for them if y'all are so. Yeah, so basically I just got these and then I really, really like these. Like these are, I modeled them and they looked really cute, especially because like if you pair something like this color green with like, no, don't do like a full on green with it, but do like something like a shirt that has a little bit of green in it. Like I wore my Delia's top like my little rainbow top and it looked really well with it so yeah I just got these like high-waisted like trousers and they're like a they're like a green apple color and they have a straight leg and they're super cute and high-waisted and yeah I just went with them because they're really cute next I'm gonna go with this cute <laughs> this cute little like I said, I was going on the sporty athletic trend. I just got this little Chaps 
polo Ralph Lauren t-shirt and again just like big old t-shirt a girl can wear it guy can wear it it would look really great with that green jacket which I will model that with and yeah I just went with that <laughs> and so okay next I got this cute little Tommy t-shirt and anything Tommy girl if you find Tommy at a thrift store and you're trying to sell stuff then you know the more Tommy on there the more the brand is like the logos are on there anything the higher it sells like you could have a pair of jeans that just says like a little bitty Tommy in the corner and you know it won't sell as much but when you got that huge like Tommy logo on the butt the price goes up like a good $15 and people just are really here for that logo and I am too and it makes me money so I'm definitely here for that but this is super cute and it's got like I didn't cut this somebody else did when I got it it was like that but I did crop it and I think it's a little girl's tee yeah I think it's a little girl's tee because it's a large but it fits like perfect for like a women's small even this could probably fit like a, a women's medium probably because it's pretty like stretchy and stuff and if y'all didn't know this like if you're a thrifter, go through the kids section because you will find all the cute little baby tees and things that you can crop. Just look for like a kid's large. Make sure you hit that aisle and you can find a lot of goodies there. So anyways, next I just got this basic little um, sports bra, Adidas sports bra. And yeah, it's just like a like a, a forest green super dark green with like gray bordering and yeah I just thought it'd be cute just to make a couple bucks off of and next I have these super super cute plaid pants and they're high-waisted and they almost feel like pajama pants we'll wear pajama pants with an outfit because it just goes with it but anyways um this has like a wide leg also which the wide leg is like really cute on a pair of trousers it just looks so much better you throw on a pair of like big chunky platforms and a cute little crop t-shirt and girl you are on your way and so yeah these are pretty cute i don't even think they have a tag they just have the size i saved my favorite for last this i don't even know where to start for it like Everybody recently has been on this like animal print type of thing, but the number one seller is a freaking snake print. And I found these brand spanking new freaking snakeskin pants, high waisted, uh, like a boot cut leg, wide leg, and they even have tags on them. It's revolt. Wait. I don't even know which way that goes. It's Revolt. Yeah, they're in freaking brand new condition. They're beautiful and high-waisted, which is hard to find. Like, if you're looking for, like, animal print, a lot of things you'll find, like, yeah, it's cute, but it's, like, so low-waisted. And I honestly just don't really like low-waisted stuff anymore. And I used to, but I feel, like, weird when I wear it now. Like, I feel like I'm exposed. Like, high-waisted stuff just, like covers everything yeah I just I'm a bit way bigger fan of high-waisted jeans than I am low-waisted ones but yeah these were precious and I love them and they fit me well so it might take me a while to sell them because I'm probably gonna have to wear them a good few like couple times before I can put them up on Depop. that's about it for this video and I hope you guys enjoyed and like I said before everything that I just showed y'all is either on my Depop already or will be on my Depop and any questions at all you can message me on Depop at Grace Britt or you can message me on Instagram at underscore Grace Britt underscore so thank you very much and we will see you guys later.